All right, folks. Ugh. Let's just get this over with. This video is practically a big mishmash of image dump for low tier filler tanks for holiday ops, as well as Russian server only black vehicles. Yeah, they're more recent, but version number two of premium tier eights, but black. All right. <laughs> I want to wrap up everything before we do the probability holiday ops video of vehicles likely going to show up in holiday ops and summarize this year with the premium tanks and special tanks but let's do this low tier filler maybe possibly or even maybe new year's gift tier 2 vickers 6 ton chinese light tank premium but has a camo pattern without actually putting it on so that's nice but uh, it's slow <laughs> it's going to get chewed up by t7 combat cars or panzer 1c's with machine guns practically but hey it's tier 2 what happened to the t26 cn which is also tier 2 chinese light tank from last year never came out all right uh, shell velocity is somewhat slow, but tier 2, nobody cares. Aim time is actually pretty quick, but dispersion is kind of crap. Throws a lot of peanuts or sesame seeds at enemies. Doesn't do that much damage, so it will take like 7 or 8 or 10 hits to kill somebody. So, ick. Gun depression is also not half bad. Elevation is also not half bad. Lots of rounds. Missing a loader for high tier uh, WZ light tanks, but... It's not fast, only 12.6 horsepower per ton ratio, 35 kilometer per hour top speed, that is kind of slow at low tier. I mean, Panzer 1Cs will eat this thing alive, has no armor whatsoever. Yeah, it's low tier, it's whatever. <laughs> Camo is also not great, I mean, compare this thing to the Czech Tanket, the TKS, uh, whatever the hell that name is, but... No camo whatsoever. <laughs> DPM sucks, but then again, you kill two vehicles if you hit all the shells. Practically at a minute. Ugh. Alright, moving on. It's not that great. I mean, it's okay, but... It's a premium, I guess. It's a free premium tank. Whoopee. Alright, moving on to the A7E3. Tier 3 now. British. I think it's medium. But, okay. It's like a cruiser tank. With more of a Matilda-esque, early Matilda-esque of a turret design. Eh, okay, I guess. Is it a two-pounder gun? I think it is. I forgot the stats. <laughs> so pretty chunky. It's a slow infantry support vehicle, practically. It's not even a cruiser cruiser tank. But, no. Oh. It's like an early Matilda. Okay. I mean, shell velocity is a lot better than tier 2's, but still, same alpha with more health behind it. A little bit better accuracy, faster aim time. It's a rapid firing gun, 10 degrees of gun depression. Full crew, that's nice, but it's it's a light? I thought it was a medium. Alright, never mind. <laughs> it's a light tank without horsepower per ton ratio. Again, 13.8. It's better than the 12 something, but still 35 kilometers per hour top speed. It has no armor whatsoever. <laughs> it's a light tank with a full crew. Now, British high tier light tanks don't have a loader, so this guy is coming from somewhere. Also, they don't have radio operators. And sometimes, for the Manticore, they don't even have a gunner. So, you're missing a bunch of crews for a tier 3 light tank, but. Wait, I think the low tiers have, um. Have the crusaders and stuff they have the the crew members or yeah the crusader is still considered as a light tank right it's not medium back again i don't know <laughs> camo is actually better than the smaller uh, the vicar six ton what the hell <laughs> that doesn't make sense we just covered it like uh, two minutes ago it has better camo than a small dinky vicar six tons that's surprising <laughs> Alright, it is a premium tier 3, it's likely going to be another filler, but we got the Harry Hopkins last year at tier 4 with a 2-pounder, but 
that's actually not a bad gun. So the same Matilda gun, but yeah, this gun is not as good in terms of penetration as the Matilda's two pounder or the Harry Hopkins two pounder. All right, fine, whatever. All right, let's cover the object 261 version number four on the Russian server. More HD picture, always nice. Tier 10 artillery, assault artillery, but I would rather have this vehicle as a tank destroyer. It's pretty nice. IS-7 chassis compared to the IS-8 chassis for the actual 268. Object 268. That's not the IS-7 chassis. The 263 has the IS-7 chassis without the pike-shaped hull front, but this thing has 210 millimeters of the superstructure armor sloped, so pretty thick, but DPM on this thing sucks. It's artillery round, so I already cover all the stats, so they change a little bit of it, but we don't really care. It's not coming to the other servers, yada yada. But that's a KPV, I think. Machine heavy machine gun. It's like a 14.5 caliber. Alright, whatever. It's a big boy. Holy crap. That's a good image. That's a very good image. But it's a big Was that a 203 millimeter gun? <laughs> It's a big gun, but stubby big guns with an arc that fires high explosive rounds. Maybe high explosive anti tank, but nah. DPM on this thing sucks. I would really rather have this thing as an actual tank destroyer, right? Actually. <laughs> and finally, black vehicles on the Russian server. Black M4 Yo Tank. Okay. <laughs> Low effort. Uh, it's like the Black T-34, the Panzer 58, and the IS-6. So second round of black vehicles, but isn't Black Friday American tradition? Not a Russian one. <laughs> you bunch of commies, you don't have Black Friday and sales. <laughs> I don't know. Then, okay, sure, whatever. I don't care. Fine, use your black vehicles, but... It's low effort. Real. It also looks like the the GI Joe-esque of a plasticky sheen to it. So it doesn't look metallic. Looks plasticky, like a toy, like with the STRV S1 or the Renegade. This one's a little bit better, but it's basically covered with mud or dirt. So a little bit better with more details or texture on the vehicle, but it's just black. All right, Torvon black version we got the recent uh mirror 13 Hall halloween torn von thing so i'm highly doubting this thing is coming to the other servers but all right it's a black torn von they buffed it they buffed the accuracy some of the mobility small buffs from the recent patch the 1.22.1 but ah, it's okay it's still not that great of a vehicle this thing needs a heavy dispersion buff heavily it's like 0 0.3 or something while traversing or moving it's pretty bad so okay it's a wannabe concept 1b Not a little bit better with the texture now with the dirt and stuff but i still don't get why we cannot have base black paint universally for all vehicles or for pink color as well but Object 274A with the black paint. No, whoop, whoopee. <laughs> Alright, oh, image dump is image dump, I guess. This is one of the most overrated tier 8 medium tank for the Russians, I believe. Some say it's, ooh, it's good, it's like a heavy tank. It's slow, it's not accurate. I prefer my T44-100, but that thing is fast. This thing is slow. Hell, maybe I even prefer the titty over this thing. At least I can hit something or just randomly shoot a bunch of shells with the titty. But no, uh, it's a black. Oh, a little bit better with the dirt. It actually going through mud and stuff or the sand, but it's object. It's more of a heavy tank, in my honest opinion. And there's actually a 3D style on the Russian server for the Curvettes 1. <laughs> That nobody likes. It is surprisingly 
the underdog compared to the Object 703 version number 2, which is practically the same chassis except two guns with somehow better dispersion than this vehicle. Like a lot better dispersion, surprisingly. It's like 0.1 for traversing and moving, which is really good for a double barrel Russian gun, but alright, Killer Vets 1 with a iron looking effect and a forge in the back for has Hephaestus? Hephaestus? Ah, whatever. Uh, okay. Well, there you go, folks. A bunch of image dump. I have to wrap up everything. I finished the Excel, the spreadsheet for the probability for the probability list. <laughs> Hephaestus, that's a Greek god. There you go. But I finished the list and we have mostly all the vehicles, all the premium tanks coming out for holiday ops. The list is practically ready, just not shown to the public. So I have the list, but we'll do this next time. There is a little bit change to the guarantees and restrictions like they added the object 283 to the Waffen Trigger boxes. It's not a premium, it's a special tank, but so it might feature special tanks in the holiday ops boxes, but there's no guaranteed or Last year, they took away the guarantee for the Waffen Trigger boxes. So, buy 50 boxes, you're not guaranteed a premium. They took that away, so nice of them. But, no premium Chinese tank for Lunar New Year. We did not get anything like that. We got Terminator T32, which is not Chinese. And, definitely, <laughs> nothing to do with Lunar New Year, but whatever. So, we'll do this next time. We'll cover all the vehicles and this list, but... Probability is practically coming up. The vehicle is coming out after today or in November. Generally don't make it to Hall of the Ops. Like it's real recent. You need a few months. Like at least two or three, right? So that goes for the AAT-60. Still waiting on pictures for that vehicle, but we got the Type 68 for the Tier 9 Normal Japanese heavy tank but this is the recent from last week American medium tank at tier 8 also I believe this was on console some of you guys mentioned but no pictures yet only this page of the preview as well as the tier 9 normal type 68 heavy tank with the gun cooling stuff but no full pictures yet well there you go folks a bunch of filler tanks for low tiers as well as uh, Russian server only black vehicles, so nothing too exciting. Both of these light tanks are slow, but surprisingly, the A7E3 has better camo for some reason. 17.84 <laughs> compared to 14.19. How big is this thing? Jesus. It's not. Oh, okay, camo system. Right. Sure, I guess. <laughs> So only vehicle I'm excited for the Russian server is likely this, but only aesthetically speaking, not actually the performance wise. This is a good looking vehicle. It just performance is kind of crap. <laughs> as the armor, but consider as artillery piece. So as always, thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.